We've been working with Wild Aid from Uganda and Kenya to develop a surprising way to keep elephants out of crops and tested on Asian elephants. We've been visited by the Thai Elephant Conservation Center for their annual health check and their broader surveillance of elephant diseases. And that is all in January. So ladies and gentlemen, we'll tell you all about it. Welcome to our January newsletter. In common with the rest of the world, COVID has really hit us badly. We have managed to keep all of our projects going. Our 20 elephants are still on site. Our rangers are still in Cambodia and we're still protecting our 18,000 hectares there. And we still have our wild elephant projects and research going. We've been running elephant professional lectures every Wednesday where an elephant expert from around the world comes and zooms a lecture for us and we broadcast it live on Facebook. One of our lecturers was Dr. Lydia Tiller, who is an ex-research assistant for Think Elephants International, who spent a lot of time here. And during her lecture about elephants in Kenya and how she keeps them out of crops, she mentioned the smelly elephant repellent. We're also trialling out different deterrents, such as the smelly elephant repellent. So this idea was developed in Uganda by Wild Aid and the Ugandan Conservation Foundation. So when it's ready, you then hang it in bottles um, around your farm bottles, and then you punch some holes in the bottles so that lets out um, the smell. So in Uganda they've been trialling it with about 30 farmers and it appears to be very successful so far. This research or this method is, has been using in African, um, African countries like many countries like in Kenya and Tanzania. So one of the problems that well known for a lot of people if you are know the elephants it's human elephant conflict right when elephant come to use the area humans still use the same area hopefully it will be one of alternative ways how to stop elephant to come from to that area we will try to put that smelly repellent uh, spray on the elephant food and we'll see if they want to take it or not we will start with our elephants and we'll see how do they react um, with this one during that time we also record and we we'll send the video and clip to the expert in, in Kenya with wow it to let them and we can discuss what is the next process. I found out afterwards that in all the development and all the research, despite the fact it looks and smells like a soup, no one's actually thought to taste it. Just a dip. <coughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, <is it? coughs> I just hit you right at the back of the throat. <laughs> I don't think the Ellie's are going to be drinking this. Uh, what does the taste look um, like? Chilli and then very, very bitter at the back of the throat. And those are the two that hit me and I can't taste anything else and won't taste anything else for a day or two. The brew is still fermenting in the elephant camp and in a couple of weeks we'll knock the lid off and perform some scientific experiments to find out whether Asian elephants are as repelled by the stuff, even though it looks a bit like an Asian soup, as the African elephants are. For as long as I've been here, the Thai Elephant Conservation Centre have visited all the elephant camps in the north of Thailand once a year to perform a vet check. In the old days, this was really important because they were the only people who had vets. It was the only way that elephants had a health check. Of course, now we employ vets and many other camps do, but it's still very important that they come around. Um, some camps, of course, don't have vets, but also it's part of the broader surveillance of the health of the elephants throughout Thailand and they can draw blood and they can make sure the elephants in general are healthy and that there are no infectious diseases spreading around. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our first monthly video newsletter. Despite being very quiet guest-wise, we've been quite busy in the elephant camp, as you can see. I hope the video newsletter has given you greater insight into what we do, why we do and how we do it and what goes on behind the scenes. We do do quite a lot of social media and please do keep in touch via the Facebook and the Instagram. Please do visit our live streams every day on Facebook and for the educational weekend supplements as well as the occasional elephant professional lecture. Thank you very much. But also it's part of the broader surveillance of making sure that all of the um, so it was the only way we got to know about how our... So we will start here at Golden, uh, uh, we will start here at Golden Triangle Asian Elephant Foundation. Of course, now we employ vets and many other camps do, but it's... it's ah!